Hello friends, welcome to another question of Ask Java series. In this video, we'll understand what is inheritance. So this is a very common interview question where you will be asked to explain inheritance with real-time or programming examples. So let's see how to explain that. Firstly, inheritance is a process of extending properties of parents. Similar to what we humans do. Here we have a parent class and a child class, which extends the parent class. So the child class gets all the properties and behaviors of the parent class. Basically, child class uses the properties of parent class and you don't have to write the logic again in the child class. We will understand this with actual program, but first let's understand the real-time example of this. Let's say we have animals, cat and dog. So both have some common properties or let's say attributes like age and maybe let's say name. Both have age and name and they also have some common behaviors like eating, sleeping, etc. So this common properties will write in a common class called animal. So basically we'll have animal class with common properties and we'll also have cat and dog class which extends animal. So by default they'll have animal properties and they'll also have their unique properties in their class. So if you are asked about the real time example of inheritance, you can use any example where parent child relation exists or where there is a relation between the common and the individuals. So this is a simple concept of inheriting properties and behavior. Hence, it is called as inheritance. So there are various types of inheritance which we are going to see in the upcoming videos. But in this video, we'll understand the programming example of inheritance to understand it in a better way. So let's check that. So here I have taken a class. We have a Java project in which we have an inheritance class which has main method. So we'll take the animal class, which is going to be our common class, or we can call it as parent class. And then we'll have a dog class, which is going to be a subclass or the child class of the animal. So let's see how we do it. Let's say we have class animal, which is going to have common properties. In this, we'll take one variable, we'll say age, that is common for all animals, and we'll take behavior as eats because all animals eat right so this is the method inside this method let's call this eat so here we'll write a simple print statement let's say animal eats and then so this animal here is called as parent class or you can say super class And then we'll have a subclass or the child class of this, which is going to extend the properties of animal. So let's say dog extends animal. And now since dog extends animal, dog is going to have all the properties of animal by default. You don't have to write eat method separately for dog. And dog can also have its own method such as barks because this is unique to dog. So we'll say dog barks in this way so we have a dog which extends animal now let's try and check if dog is able to access the method eat we'll create object of dog class for that and we'll see dog dot so here you as you can see we have all these properties for the dog so age and eat both are available for dog because it is able to extend it and we can similarly have one more class as cat so let's say we have cat and we'll have some other unique things or we can keep, simply keep it like this so in this way dog and cat are going to extend animal and they can inherit the properties or behaviors of animal what is the advantage of this so suppose you have eat method for both dog and cat and if you don't extend it you will have to write this method for both dog and cat separately that is going to be duplication of code so inheritance is basically used for reusability in oop and that is the major advantage of using inheritance 
there are various types of inheritance as i mentioned earlier and we'll see the examples of each in the upcoming videos but remember two concepts of inheritance the parent class and the child class or you can say super class and sub class the extended class is obviously the sub class so you can try various examples with inheritance so that you will be able to explain what inheritance is and in the next video we'll understand the types of inheritance as well as the other principles of op so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you